Well, hello there. We're back doing a, another generator gas pipe install. Uh, using, uh, we're going to use a counter strike. We're basically going to be coming out, basically coming out here and then uh, rolling inside. Coming up, running up and over the garage door, and then uh, bringing it over across, and then we're going to be popping it down here. And we're doing a Gen Rack 18 KW. This one's going to be a tight one here. Um, going to be. I haven't decided if I'm coming straight out or if I'm going to come over here and then kind of angle it in. Might, we might do this way just to give us some more room. So we'll, uh, we'll get you some shots uh, afterwards and we'll see you on the other side. They called a quick change with a high pressure gas meter. Yep, if you're not confident in doing that, don't do it. <laughs> Especially don't be smoking a cigarette while you're doing that. Hey right, Taylor. here these are mechanical fittings so I'm going to stick the counter strike in there and there's that little ring right there once you make your clean cut on your counter strike you push it in you hear a snap and then you just tighten it and that's all you got to do these things are slick Hey, I have updates. So we got everything up and over the door. This 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 uh, inch and a quarter counter strike. This is a beast. It's nothing like a uh, half inch that we use for furnace change outs. So we got it down to here. I got to go outside and figure out where we're gonna come in at. Um, I'm thinking probably in this area somewhere I'll bring it down and I'll maybe do a nipple or something down instead of have to cut a piece. I don't know, I'll figure that out when we get to that point. So why don't you come over on this side? 
go down force on it. There you go. See, a little bit easier, isn't it? Nope. Just get it to where it's tight. You gotta flip it over and do the other ones. Right. Now when you tighten this, you gotta be really careful because you'll chop up those ends. So, okay. um, Should I use the channel lock for that? Or the no, you could probably use the pipe wrench. Just you gotta make sure it's set properly and uh, not slipping on it, obviously, but yeah. Look at that, so the lead you gave me on reliable refrigeration turned out to be great. Good. He was, he was really good. Was it Bob? Yeah. Bob yeah. Bob Swafford, yeah, I went to school with him. He put a new uh, new valve on the back of the stove, mm -hmm. but it still had a leak, and he had to come out again and, and retighten it. He had a couple more turns in there he got, and I think he's licked it now. But you know, it's one of those things I think, of, is this in my head or what, you know? Yeah. And then after he left, I waited about three weeks, and I still could get a little whiff. And one day, my Sher Cheryl did one day too, and I said, "Okay, I'll call him back." But you know, you just think, ah, "This is my head." <laughs> Tyler, you know what made me mad? Well, a couple, six, seven months ago, what? when I had to spend almost a thousand dollars a month with my with my uh, website people to get SEO uh, to, to for my website. You know, uh -huh. you know what SEO is? Nope. Search engine optimization. That's how people find you on the internet. Oh. So and I found this place called Footbridge Media. Uh, for two two nine two forty nine a month, they create you a website, and they they actually do the SEO for you. And my phone's been ringing off the hook. So if you're a, if you're a contractor, paying your paying your website people too much, you need to check out Footbridge Media. They'll do it for you. And they'll do it right, and you'll get on Google. You need to be on Google um, to make your phones ring. Uh, the link is in the description below. Um, but yeah, I was once I figured out there's somebody cheaper out there, um, and they do actually a better job. Um, I'm really happy. Yeah, I need a six-inch nipple. Yep. Yeah, I think I got it. I'll let you figure that out. Let's sit there for a few minutes and if anything happened, it'll leak. Alright, let's see what that rigid stuff does. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, this was the joint I was worried about, but it didn't it didn't leak at all. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna throw a clamp on that and call it a day. got done with this 18 kW gen rack um, got my post going down probably two and a half feet down with my clamp um, came out with a 12 inch nipple three quarter inch galvanized three quarter inch 90 and used their vibration connector I uh, did my drip leg um, another nipple come in with a full port shut off let me uh, take you inside Tyler did a great job today. And don't forget this pipe, son. <clears throat> Came in here. We did our uh did a inch or inch and a quarter to inch with a nipple. Did another uh inch to three quarter inch 90. Did a little bracketry here. Uh did have a leak at the other one. I soaked this all down, everything's good. Now we come up and over, and then over there, and then come back down. Um, this one was actually, we had a leak, but I fixed that. That's why we use micro leak detector. Um, no leaks there. And I came out here and put another full port um, valve here. That's a full port ball valve. If you need your gen rack gas piped, Feel free to call Advantage Heating and Cooling at 269-966-9595. Uh, if you're in the Battle Creek area, or you can hop onto the website hotairnow.com and schedule online for a free estimate. We'll see you on your next project. Mm -hmm.